In an effort to increase productivity and lessen errors, we've changed the way that the BitSetter functions inside your workflow. The machine behavior is new and improved, so stay right here. This is a brand new version of Carbide Motion, so you're going to have to download it and then run your initial machine setup. I know you did it before when you got your machine, it was brand new. This again is a one-time thing to make sure your machine has the information from this new version of Motion. Be sure and save changes and send the information to the machine throughout that process as prompted so you're all set to go. When you get to machine initialization, you're going to notice a change right away you'll no longer be prompted to load a tool as part of the initialization process. You're welcome to load a new tool there on your own. You're also welcome to continue with the tool from your previous cycle. This gets along with the new theme of fewer pop-ups. We want to interrupt your workflow as little as possible. And as soon as you go to jog, you're going to see the same thing. You can enter the jog menu and begin jogging without delay or reminders. Another thing we've done to keep your workflow flowing is speed up the bit setter and bit zero probing cycles. You're going to notice faster machine movement and quicker response. With that in mind, here comes the biggest change. Anytime you set a Z0, two movements will occur without delay. When using zero all, your shape oko will immediately pull up the Z axis and begin movement in the XY coordinates. It's going to go through the bit setter cycle. Independently zeroing Z on your shape oko will also initiate that same bit setter cycle. In both cases, after the bit setter cycle is complete, your machine will return to the XY position where the zeroing was initiated. You can still independently zero X or Y and no movement will occur. Now for those of you using bit zero, when you're setting Z zero alone or running the entire corner routine, Carbide Motion will prompt you via a pop-up window, we had to keep that one, to remove the magnetic clip before commanding the machine through the bit setter cycle. Just as above, the machine will then return to the XY coordinates where that Z zeroing was initiated. Separate but related here, use the quarter inch pin when setting any zero position with bit zero. This ensures accuracy in all axes. Okay, one more behavioral change. When using the rapid commands of Z plus six or Z, if since being initialized, your machine has not performed a bit setter cycle, you will be asked to perform that cycle prior to the machine performing that rapid command. If you press no, the machine will not rapid to any Z location. You must accept yes, and it must go through the bit setter cycle in order for you to utilize those rapid commands. This only applies when you have not measured a tool since turning on the machine. After that, you're free to use those Z plus six or Z rapid commands at any time. I know you guys are sharp out there and you caught it. We have a new rapid position. We not only have Z plus six, now we have Z. You can go right to the top of your stock and make sure that that position is dead on. Finally, one thing we haven't changed is you should still use load new tool. This command remains available and if you're gonna change an end mill outside of a running project, use it. These are new routines. Getting used to them may take a couple of projects. Fewer errors and faster response times should have you happily completing your next creation. And then we'll meet you back here in the studio with more information, ideas, and inspiration.